Hey guys, welcome back to the trainer feed. We are your hosts, Angel Sanchez. How you doing? I'm doing well. What's your name, sir? I'm, I'm gonna get to that. All right. All right. So I got, I'm here with Jacques Delager. What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday, and, uh, baby. My name is David. David Bravo. How we doing, guys? We are good. Ready good. to roll. Ready, Ready to well, go. Huh? Ready, Ready to go. go. Ready to go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I wanted to chat about inflammation and using ice. Um, this is a, a subject that hits home for Jai. Uh, and because he's, you know, very much into trying new things. And also, you know, he's had his fair share of injuries. I've had my fair share of injuries and inflammation. So my personal opinion when it comes to ice is I believe it does help for a temporary time, for a small period of time. Now. The, nat- the body's natural reaction to an in- injury would be inflammation. And that's also a point of importance because inflammation is great to help you recover. You know, it's, it's, it's not the worst thing. I think in the moment it's, it's, it sucks because it hurts and, and you're like, you want to get rid of it. But I think if you're icing your knee for 30 minutes to an hour, that I don't think that does much good. You know, I think doing it for a short burst of time would be better, more beneficial than doing it to stop the pain completely. So I don't know what your takes are on that. You want to go, Angel? Um, no, I think that, you know, David spoke about it. I think that um, ice is helpful. Ice is definitely helpful. People respond to stuff differently as well so it's it's really tricky to give like a blanket statement but david's right in the point that you know the body's natural response to an injury or um certain stress or yeah certain stress that it is involved with um to inflame the area and that is a good thing so inflammation is a good thing because it means that your body's responding to that However, it can get in the way of a lot of different things, including like, you know, range of motion, you might have certain pain, you might not be able to move in the way that you want to move, or you need to move for the time after time thereafter. So reducing that inflammation does become the next big priority. And then using ice really helps. I try to have like an ice pack in my uh, freezer at all times, just in case anything. So there's um, a couple of companies, I got to look them up and hopefully I'll have the answers by the end of this podcast. But um, there's some that have like gels that you can throw into the freezer and then they'll freeze up. And then it, conversely, if you need a heat pack, you can take that gel out and then you can microwave, microwave it, heat it up. And then you can just use that as your heat. And that really does help because depending on the size of it or where you get it from, you can have it so that it goes around the areas because sometimes those ice packs and, you know, old school people throwing like the, the, the corn or the peas and then like throwing it on your body. Like that might not be the best. I love using peas. Use peas. Frozen peas for the win, man. Yeah. Frozen peas. I mean, you know, Hey, it works if you don't have an ice pack or a gel pack and it works if you do have it, but you know, I'd rather, my knee smells the area nicely. It can, yeah, it can. So you know, that's you know when to take it off as well because it becomes soft. So that's the other thing with frozen peas. You know, you can't sleep with it. Don't sleep with it. Yeah, please don't. I don't know. Uh, I I think the what you guys have mentioned so far is very close to what I think with it as well in terms of. You know, it serves its purpose, but it's not the answer to an injury in terms of, as you mentioned, David, if you're doing it consistently for long periods of time. Now, if it's past a week, two week window, depending on what it is, that's not that's not a good sign. That shouldn't be your automatic, uh, you know, I mean, I'll tell you put firsthand how it numbs it. It numbs the, the area of discomfort. When I'm talking about numbing, I'm talking about anywhere in your tendons around uh, like your patella tendon. I think that really, really helps numb that discomfort. And it's not to say, and I think what's really important to mention here is it's not the, okay, now I've iced it. I can go back to where I was doing before. You know that clearly something you're doing is either being neglected or aggravated. So whether it is your glutes aren't, firing or walking 
or something I've done personally more recently is foam rolling my feet on one of those hard sort of peanuts. And that does wonders. That's something that I haven't ever been doing. And up until about three, four months ago has really helped with that. But I just, I know that from my physical therapy and this and that, that when the tendons on your patella tendon are feeling overworked, they usually go to stretching the hamstrings and firing the glutes, that kind of, so to get muscles around that joint working more so that the knee isn't being so dominant in every pattern. But from a surgical standpoint as well, when you're recovering, the, the ice is huge. The ice is good for reducing inflammation. And yes, the body has a natural process, but when you spoke about gaining range of motion as well, I can't remember one of you guys mentioned it, that's huge as well because you want to regain range of motion as soon as possible. And in turn, reducing the inflammation will help with that. Now, again, mentioning, uh, I personally, I'm like you, Angel, and I keep ice in my freezer the whole time, just because if it's a day when, you know, I feel that it might, my, my need did a bit more than it, it maybe should have, or a day that was more intense than others, it's not going to, it's not going to hurt my recovery to put ice on personally. Yes. The muscle, yes. The body needs to have those, those natural, uh, I was going to say those natural parts of recovery where the information is a good thing. It's a good communication of the body that you did place stress on that, on that muscle tissue and that joint and so on. But you know, it just, and, and as you, I think angel, you mentioned as well that everybody responds a little bit differently to different things as well. So, you know, whenever I do lower body from having had three knee surgeries on the left knee, I, there's just so much knee flexion I'll do just because, you know, I, and, but if anything, it's told me to more balance hip hinging with knee flexion exercises, but I just know that if it's back two days, back to back, it usually doesn't feel so good. And two days a week is about right. Um, my, my tendonitis flood up on my good knee recently. And just like, oh, great. After all this time, that was the good knee, but I think did help. So I, when I was in Puerto Rico for a week, my knee was was killing me and as soon as i this got guy. this guy no this guy <laughs> nice. must be nice, must be nice. <laughs> must be nice. but the um, the ice when i got back was oh i felt so good like it, it just good I, I i know i didn't bring that many bands with me when i was in puerto rico so i was able to do do more of the stuff here and do more of the stretching and the foam rolling as well so you waited to get back to ice your knee i was i was happy when i got back to ice my knee okay so, but, but, uh, it's not the, I think ultimately the stance I have on it is it won't hurt. It can help. And I asked my orthopedist about it. I said, look, seeing all these Wait, poses, sorry, sorry to interrupt, but your orthopedist, is he the one that works with the NBA? He's the one that works with the NBA. He was the one with the USA oh. team in the basketball, the Olympics, oh, okay. men's and women's it works with the MLS as well. So. And he, he he's a cool guy. I really want to get him on one day. And he's like, look, man, it's all about changing the blood pH. Damn. If I if I miss hurt him and I butcher that, he may never talk to me again. Oh, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> he, I, I'm pretty sure that's what he said. I didn't do much, I didn't do enough. But he, he just pretty much said, Hey man, people are gonna say things just to be controversial to stick out. He says, You know its purpose, you know it if it helps you, it works for you. And uh, he said, it, it's not, but he, he pretty much alluded to saying, it's not going to fix you if you have an issue. So you know, I, I think that's, that's really what my stance is on this as well is if you do have a tendonitis, okay, maybe there's too much of one pattern you're doing and, or something else in your anatomy isn't working as well as it should, or the way it could be, should be. So I think that's just really the way to, to summarize it, it's just, okay, well, is it my right glute isn't working or is it my right hip shifted higher? And then in turn, because that leg is shorter, this and that, whatever. I just think that's the purpose to look at it. But I've seen, we've seen a lot of stuff on icing doesn't work. And it's like, I know, I, I, I don't know. I mean, icing, being in an ice bath as well, there we said some neurological uh, benefits to it a long time ago, but I think it's quite interesting. But I ultimately feel if you feel it helps you, I'll tell you this. I don't believe in rock taping. I don't think it does. Anything. Oh, nah. But if you think it helps you, it's not going to hurt you or the other person. You know, so that's where I'm, it's. I have trouble finding the reason to believe that rock tape works. Let's put it this way. If it's going to, I again. What if I just I get should, like regular scotch tape and like tape should, my knee? Like would that should, help? should we do a separate episode on it, you think? Yeah, we should have a separate episode on it and maybe get oh, somebody gosh. from rock tape to come and speak mm. about the benefits. I think that would be a good idea. 
so that way we don't jump the gun shots fired. and just shoot and the, just... the idea down exactly. <laughs> oh man but i think it's, it's not a... my yeah manipulation of tissue is not my uh wheelhouse so i can't speak to that i and, and neither is it mine but i on the on the on the science that i understand i find it a little hard to understand how something on the surface of your skin manipulates tissue on the interior and maybe i'm completely naive and completely oblivious to the science of what it is what it's doing oh it itches my skin like hell as well my skin it irritates my skin so that's another reason (laughs) but yeah an idea for another episode yeah for real but this is this is a good one for sure yeah we all gotta do um something where have you guys ever taken an ice bath uh i've done i've done a cold cold bath and we should do it yeah what is it 15 minutes uh something like that some of these guys on instagram have a house must be nice and they have the cold bath in the in the backyard so after that workout all they have like a big it's gonna kill me saying this it's a bin not trash can and they just fill it up with ice trash can oh they have you know what's crazy well, it's crazy but it's not crazy it's um profitable and marketable they sell a barrel that you put ice into mm-hmm. and it's an ice bath barrel and it's like some crazy amount of money it's like two thousand dollars or something like that for a bath of ice we'll buy yeah. it Bro, get an you old know. school fucking fucking a uh, thing get a from fucking the, cooler from the creator of my pet rock comes the ice, ice bath barrel or just ice. <laughs> just ice. If you the guy go by the, the freeze every ten minutes, get out yeah. people with ice. <laughs> um, right, no, nah, but that that is that's a that's we something should, we, we should, should look into. Maybe we'll do a live stream of it. Yep, and uh, it'll be two viewers. It'll be my dad and Jacques' parents. Jacques, your parents still listen to this, right? Uh, I haven't spoken to him about it. I have to ask. Right, so like, I guess it's just that like, maybe. Like, yes, man. And then we'll email it to David's dad. <laughs> On his birthday. <laughs> On his birthday. He'll read it 10 years later. It'll could be, be like every day. Capsule. Could be every week. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so are you like your dad when you celebrate your birthday every week as well? Like when you. What do you mean? <laughs> so your birthday was yesterday, but we're going out tonight and then nah, you're going to celebrate nah, tomorrow. Nah. Nah. No. So, all right. So three things. One. You did the same thing for your birthday. True. <laughs> and on Instagram, you were like, you, you said, it's my birthday, blah, 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 working out. And then the next day or two days ago, it was like, on the week of my birthday, I did this. And then later on, it was like, my birthday week was almost up. And I was like, oh my goodness. This oh, guy. That's I? why when I wow. saw you, I gave you the birthday gift. And I said, oh yeah, uh, what I said about your birthday has been like three weeks long. Cause you can yeah. bring it up. <laughs> Okay. Like, hey, as oh, my thought, yes, I guess month. I'll be able to do. It. Yeah, um, I'm no better for But then the other thing them. is, like, now we said something time sensitive, so um, we'll probably we, we don't have to cut it, but this is gonna drop in like October. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrate bit the birthday all month long. Let's go. Let's go, David. Let's, Let's go. go, baby Yoda. <laughs> okay. Let's go. I noticed. Uh, I'll I'll save it for after. All right, we'll wrap it up. Bye. <laughs> 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 See ya. Later. Bye guys.